What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears. Today I'm talking about the latest rumor swirling around national media. The one I've seen a couple times now in the last two days are people coming out and saying the Bears are interested in Josh Jacobs. I do not believe this is true at all. Jacobs is franchise tagged and the only way for him to come to Chicago would be via trade. I am not saying Ryan Poles doesn't like Josh Jacobs, but he's not going to be a bear in 2023. If he wouldn't have been franchise tagged and would have hit free agency, maybe it would have been possible, but that time ended and our running back room is stacked and there's just no way Poles makes a move like this right now. But since there are rumors flying around and we have just a week left until training camp, I'm going to make a prediction for fun because I think someone will become a bear. I've predicted a lot of things here in the past, but haven't came out and just made a straight up prediction. Last year, I nailed a sign in Riley Reef. I predicted Robert Quinn would be traded. I predicted not only that we would trade the number one pick, but also that it would go to the Panthers and then called the Darnell Wright pick. Was also the first to say Braxton Jones would win the left tackle job last year, and everyone knows my belief in Justin Fields. Not bragging, I just wanted to give some reason for why I wanted to make a prediction. It's for fun, but I actually believe the Bears are going to make one move before training camp, and I'm actually going to predict who that player will be. I could be wrong, I don't have any inside information here, but this had been a long and boring offseason, and I felt like making a prediction today. I think the Bears will sign Justin Houston. He's a perfect fit, he knows the scheme, he's still productive, he wouldn't cost too much, and he would sign a one-year deal. I would love the signing. I mean, what's not to like about it? Only his age, which isn't a factor to me because he's only signing for one season. A lot of people overlook that about Ryan Poles. Everyone says he only signs players under the age of 27, which for the most part is true, but he also supplements the roster before training camp. He did it last year with Riley Reef and Michael Schofield, signed just before camp started. And then he also added Mike Pinnell and Trayvon Coley after camp started. So Ryan Poles will add veterans, just not to be core players, but to help out the roster in late July, that's a polls type move. I think Justin Houston would fill that void perfectly for one season. He can come in and help mentor our young pass rushers. He would immediately upgrade our defensive end position, giving us a reliable threat to go after QBs. And honestly, he would make this team a lot more competitive right away, filling what I would say is the biggest hole on our entire roster. He also spent two years working with Eberflus. This fit just makes too much sense to me. I think Justin Houston will be a bear. I'm back at work on my All-22 videos, guys. I'm going to try to have the Tyler Scott, the Noah Sewell, and an Andrew Billings video out in the next couple of weeks. Stay tuned for those as I ramp it up again. Training camp is almost here. Please remember to hit that like button for me. I appreciate everybody who watches. And until next time, bear down. Yeah, we icy. We going for that ring. We about to go golf. Let's go to the swing. Woo! Yeah. Swifty in the house.